Welcome. This is a uh, remake of my very first video because the sound was screwed up on it. I, t I tried half a dozen times to load that video. It would, the sound would play on my computer, but it would not play on YouTube. So, uh, anyway, I'm remaking that. And uh, the whole purpose of this is to introduce a, a new type of battery that has no electrolytes in it. Uh, the active ingredient is a semiconductor. Uh, so it, it makes it a um, semiconductor battery or a um, electronic battery. <laughs> but uh, so to demonstrate this, this is distilled water here. And I'm just going to pour a little bit in this plastic cup like that. And then there's titanium dioxide. It's a common uh, dye used to make a white, white paint. Also a common semiconductor that's used. Uh, a lot of research being done on this. I discovered it uh, really by accident. I read about titanium dioxide being able to partially hydrolyze water in Wikipedia, so I bought some of this stuff and I did a simple battery experiment and I and it generated a little bit of, uh, of power so I said wow and that led to all this so here let me test the uh, show you that it's non-conductive we'll put it on uh, the highest ohm setting here and whoops so you can see the meter. There you go. That's so it's, uh, it's at 10. It's on the 200 million ohm setting. So that's, uh, we can put it on the voltage setting here too and show you that. Uh, 0.03 volts. In, in that mixture of titanium dioxide and water. Okay. And now what we're going to do, this is a piece of zinc plate and I'm just going to paint a little bit of this titanium dioxide and water on it. Get stirred up here. This doesn't dissolve in water, it just it's a fine powder, it just disperses. So anyway, we'll just paint a little of that on there, like that. Piece of separator paper. The only commonality between this battery and other batteries that we have today is it has two electrodes and a separator, and that's it. Everything else is totally different. Okay, and here's our piece of graph oil I'm using for a positive plate. And now we'll hook the meter back up to the ground. Okay. And you can see we're getting 1.16 volts out of that. And how can a non-conductor <laughs> do that? Well, what is a semiconductor? A semiconductor can be conductive or it can be non-conductive. That's why they call it a semiconductor. And it depends on the state of the of the semiconductor. Now, in like that, it's non-conductive. And it, but when you put it between two plates and apply some charge separation to it, it this the semiconductor changes state to a conductive, and it hydrolyzes the water, creating uh, hydronium ions and and uh, um, uh, hydroxy ions, and that creates a conductive it makes a natural water electrolyte so here you can see we have 1.16 volts now the what's really different about this battery is it self charges you can discharge it down to zero and hold it there on a dead short and it will just discharge it will charge right back up and so now I'll demonstrate that so here's our here's our voltage I got a bad connection apparently This is drying out too, you see the voltage is 
that's one of the problems of doing that this out in the open it depends on the water in there and as we lose the water your voltage is going to go down but you I'm going to show you the, the so we're going to short it out here see all the way down to zero and look at how fast it climbs back it's already back to 0.9 9 volts and, and still climbing in seconds it's that fast no other battery can recharge and go right back up to see about the full voltage already I'll discharge it again for you shorted it out right back up 0.86 back up to 0.9 already within seconds and it'll, it'll just keep climbing now we're getting a, we're losing water here all the time, but you can see that it's it's very fast, and it, it and it charges right back up. See that time after time. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna short it out here and hold it for you for a long time. Now this is a typically this is a battery killer right here, and if you. So there we go. Here's I mean that's a long short. And look. You see it's not climbing quite back up as fast because we're driving uh, water out of the thing when you do that too. But even after that, you'll see it it'll go all the way back up to full charge again, just a little bit slower. Because there's less water in it. Okay, there you have it. The first self-charging battery that uh, charges up real fast from complete discharge. A semiconductor battery or an electronic battery, whatever you want to call it. I call it the bio cell because it has some, uh, the, the reaction in here is an organic reaction. It's carbon, hydronium ions, hydroxy ions, and oxygen from the air. It's pulling oxygen from the air, and I think it's given off carbon dioxide. And uh, I, but uh, I haven't proved that yet. I have to have some special equipment for that. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this was informative, and please uh, subscribe and, and share this video. This is important technology right here. Thank you very much.